FaZe Jeff is a Call of Duty YouTuber with over 5 million subscribers, and he still uploads videos consistently in 2022. FaZe Jeff is one of the most respected members of FaZe Clan, mainly because he didn't stop uploading Call of Duty videos and didn't change his personality once he got famous on YouTube. One of the reasons people don't like watching FaZe in 2022 is because their content has changed a lot, and they don't seem like they enjoy posting videos anymore, and a lot of them are doing it strictly for the money. FaZe Jeff has always gone down his own path though, and he is one of the most dedicated fan bases on YouTube. Why did FaZe Jeff stick with Call of content even when all of his claimants were making vlogs and internet life content and also how did phase jeff continue to grow such a large fan base on youtube while uploading some of the most hated call of duty games of all time those are both questions we are going to be answering in today's video as well as talking about phase jeff's journey on youtube let's get straight into it phase jeff uploaded his first ever youtube video on january 7th 2012 titled modern warfare 3 44 and 5 with barrett hi i'm jeff introduction commentary and this video got over 280,000 views in this video, Jeb tells everyone a little about himself, saying that he is an 18-year-old senior in high school who loves playing video games. I think it's interesting that Jeb started his YouTube channel later in life than most of the other FaZe members. 18 is obviously still young, but many of the other FaZe members started making YouTube videos at around age 14 or 15. FaZe Jeb is known for his extreme raging in Call of Duty, and his second and third ever YouTube videos were rage montages of him screaming at other players in Modern Warfare 3. These two videos got over 570,000 views and 840,000 views respectively. It's it's important to understand though that these view counts are often inflated with many people going back and finding Jeb's first videos, so when Jeb posted these videos back in 2012, I can guarantee you they didn't have this many views. Either way though, FaZe Jeb uploaded his first sniper montage back on March 7th, 2012 titled Introduction Montage Focus Jeb, and this video got over 30,000 views. Jeb wasn't uploading consistently yet, and he was only posting about a couple times a month. Despite Jeb's constant raging on Call of Duty, he did talk about a lot of important issues in his commentary videos. Jeb started a series called Cure Commentaries, where he talked about a different charity each week, encouraging people to donate money to these various charities. Even though Jeb was posting mainly Call of Duty videos, every once in a while he uploaded another game to his channel, whether that be a Skyrim video or an Outlast video. On July 19th, 2013, FaZe Jeb uploaded a video titled Darth Jeb, FFA Mini Number 3, indicating that he had joined the gaming clan Darth. Now I tried looking into the history of Darth clan, but I couldn't find any YouTube channel under that name, so I assumed the clan ended way back in the day. Jeb's time in Darth would be short lived though, and he made a video in September of 2013, explaining that he had left the clan mostly because they were solely focused on Call of Duty, while Jeb didn't want to be confined to only uploading one game. This was also the first video where Jeb showed his face on YouTube, and he would do so a lot more in the future. The main reason Jeb became so popular wasn't because he was playing Call of Duty or any other game though, but rather his personality, raging, and humor that really helped him grow. Shortly after leaving Darth, Jeb started playing Outlast, which is known as one of the scariest video games in the last decade. Jeb made a bunch of Outlast videos, and they got hundreds of thousands of views in December of 2013. As I said earlier, it's pretty much impossible to know the exact viewership these videos were getting back in 2013. Was Jeff actually getting over 200,000 views per video at that time, or did people go back and watch those videos years later? Considering the fact that he'd been uploading for a decent amount of time though, I think it's safe to say that a lot of the views are from 2013. Moving forward into 2014 though, Jeff was still posting gaming content, and all of his videos are averaging around 100,000 views. He started posting a lot of Q&A videos, sharing more about his personal life, on YouTube, and he made a ton of Q&A videos over the years. On January 15th, 2014, Jeff uploaded a video titled Q&A 3, 200th video, and this makes me think Jeff deleted some of his older videos, because he definitely doesn't have 200 videos uploaded before January 2014 on his channel. Jumping forward to March 14th, 2014 though, Jeff uploaded a video titled Joining Phase, and this video got over 1.2 million views. Jeff explained that he was extremely shocked to be recruited to Phase Clan, mainly because his content was more about entertaining and making people laugh, while FaZe Clan in 2014 was more about having the best snipers and trickshotters in the world on their team. FaZe Jeff also talked about how he was getting a little bit of hate for joining FaZe, which I find extremely funny nowadays because it seems like Jeff is the only respected FaZe member in 2022. Jeff didn't switch up his content just because he joined FaZe though, and he still made the same lighthearted videos as before. FaZe Jeff was uploading a lot of Black Ops 2, Modern Warfare 2, and Modern Warfare 3 videos in late 2014 and early 2015. Even though all those games were older Call of Duty titles, many of the FaZe members played the classic titles in the series, and avoided some of the newer, less fun games. At this point in time, FaZe Jeb was using a face cam in all of his videos, and he was posting videos every single day, with them averaging about 400,000 views. On June 11th, 2015, FaZe Jeb uploaded a video titled 24 Hours with Jeb, and this video got over 1 million views. Jeb showed his viewers what his typical day looks like, from playing video games to editing videos. As mentioned earlier, FaZe Jeb would post non-Call of Duty videos and non-gaming videos for that matter from time to time, and some of you may be 
wondering why Jeff didn't get the same criticism from FaZe fans when uploading some in real life content. I think the main reason for this is that Jeff was always a Call of Duty YouTuber who sometimes did other stuff on his channel and he always made gaming videos at his core. Some of the other FaZe members completely changed up their content, not making Call of Duty videos at all, but FaZe Jeff continued doing what made him successful in the first place. Now I'm not blaming the other FaZe members for making more vlogs because it's their channel and they can upload whatever they want, but it's clear that the original FaZe fans prefer Jeff because he still uploads Call of Duty videos. In August of 2015, Jeff went to visit the FaZe house in New York and he uploaded a video titled I'm at the FaZe house which got over 1.1 million views. Several FaZe members lived in the FaZe house including FaZe Rain, FaZe Adapt, FaZe Blaziken, FaZe Apex and more. FaZe Jeff never lived in the FaZe house for a long period of time and he didn't collaborate with the FaZe members that much. Instead, Jeff just stayed in his own lane, posting content that his viewers enjoyed. The New York FaZe house is iconic though and many look back at it fondly because so much incredible content was made there. The Call of Duty videos, the prank videos, the vlogs, all the content in the New York FaZe house was great and it's sad to see how many of the members in that house have stopped making videos. In regards to FaZe Jeff though, he was doing his own thing and he reached 1 million subscribers in the summer of 2015. As most of you may know, the LA FaZe house was to follow the New York FaZe house and this was when everything went downhill for FaZe Clan reputation wise. Many of the FaZe members slowly stopped uploading Call of Duty videos and instead posted vlogs and IRL content. The viewership for this new style of content was amazing, but at the same time it left a lot of FaZe fans disappointed because they wanted FaZe to continue making Call of Duty commentary videos. FaZe Jeff didn't move to the LA FaZe house for a variety of reasons, one of the main reasons being he lived in New Jersey and it's asking a lot for him to move all the way across the country to join a gaming house. FaZe Jeff also had a girlfriend, so he really couldn't move into the LA FaZe house. In 2017, vlog style content was blowing up more than ever and people may be wondering why wouldn't FaZe Jeff upload more vlogs and capitalize off of the current YouTube trends. FaZe Jeff has said in the past that his life just isn't interesting enough to make vlogs, so we never give it much of a try. When it comes down to it, FaZe Jeff is a gamer, and I don't see him quitting Call of Duty anytime soon. Other FaZe members definitely grew their YouTube channels a ton with IRL content, the best example being FaZe Rug, who started out with Call of Duty content, then transitioned to more internet life videos, and he currently has over 20 million subscribers, with all of his videos getting millions of views. Moving into 2018 and 2019, FaZe Jeff did upload a lot of Fortnite videos, with these videos averaging around 600,000 views. I'm sure some people got mad at Jeff for uploading so many Fortnite videos, but many people just watched his videos for him as a person and not just the gameplay, so he was able to maintain his fan base no matter the game. When Call of Duty Modern Warfare came out in 2019, FaZe Jeff uploaded this game a ton and he still plays Modern Warfare in 2022. Even though I wasn't a huge fan of this game personally, there's no denying how popular both the multiplayer was as well as Warzone. In 2022, FaZe Jeff uploads about 4 times a week and sometimes even more than that. I think FaZe Jeff's consistency on YouTube is extremely impressive because he's uploaded over 2,800 videos and he hasn't taken that many breaks along the way. FaZe Jeff has over 5 million subscribers and he did it the hard way without clickbaiting videos and scamming his audience with fake giveaways. So getting back to the original question of the video, why did FaZe Jeff continue to make Call of Duty videos while the rest of the clan moved on to IRL content? I think it mostly has to do with Jeff doing his own thing from the beginning and not feeling the need to move to the LA FaZe house and start making inauthentic content. FaZe Jeff is on a separate life path compared to the other FaZe members, he's 29 years old and he's married. I have a ton of respect for FaZe Jeff and even though he rages a lot, he seems like a really nice guy. Make sure to drop a comment down below if you watch FaZe Jeff's content or not because I know he's a lot of people's favorite FaZe member. I hope you enjoyed this video on how FaZe Jeff was the only FaZe member who didn't quit Call of Duty and I'll see you all next time.